Hello, hello, my squidlings. Welcome back to another video. It is Katie here, and I am here to make good on a promise. I am going to be doing the Color Race versus Color Eno uh, versus video, so I hope you're excited about that. Uh, so, I guess we could just get to talking to them. I am not going to be doing a full illustration. Uh, if you want to see a full illustration done with either of these pencils, leave a comment down below and let me know which, if not both, uh, pencils you want to see me do a review on. Because I haven't reviewed either of these and I thought it would be fun because in this video I'm not going to be doing a full in-depth review. Um, but if you want to see that, again, just leave a comment down below and let me know which one you'd like to see. Um, these are very different types of pencils, but they're also very similar and I know a lot of artists use use one or both of them to create art with, to sketch, to color, etc. And I thought it would be fun to kind of break them down and talk about them a little bit. So yeah, without further ado, we're going to start with Color Race. So Color Race pencils, uh, I have a pack of 12 here. I got this at my local Office Max for $7. You can find them online between $7 and $10. And then they also have a 24 pack, which has a lot more colors. Um, so let's get them out of the package and kind of look at them. So you get a nice assortment of colors with this. You get a couple of reds, so you get a vermilion and a carmine. Uh, you also get a yellow, a green, a dark green, a couple of blues being a light and a dark, a violet. You get a brown, a black, a Tuscan red, and a terracotta. These are the pencils that come in the 12 set. Again, they have more colors in their 24 set. Actually, they have my favorite color in the 24 set, which is rose. As far as I know, you can also buy these individually, which is nice. Um, and they're just like your average pencil. Um, so they're a colored pencil. They have the Prismacolor logo and, you know, the name down here. And, you know, you sharpen it. These do come unsharpened, so you'll have to sharpen all of them as soon as you get them. And then they have an eraser at the end. And... I have to say, the erasers on these are not so great. Um, I will show you a little demo of them in a moment. But yeah, the erasers really aren't that great. So outside of all the other things I've mentioned, these are also wax-based. Um, I believe they're wax-based anyway. Um, so that means you're going to be able to layer, but once you start burnishing, and if you don't know what burnishing is, that's pressing really hard on the paper to uh, flatten the tooth of the paper. Once you do that, you're not going to get too many more layers on top. So if you want to layer these, um, just make sure you do that as your very last layer. The only really big con, I think, to these, though, outside of the eraser being really bad, uh, is the fact that once you, uh, you know, use these, you can't buy refill lead for them, so you do have to buy another one, whether you buy it individually or whether you buy it in a pack. Either way, you're going to have to buy them again, um, which, you know, can get really frustrating. Another thing to go with that eraser is these do actually erase really well, just not with this crappy eraser. Uh, so if you get another eraser that you really like, so maybe your normal eraser or my favorite eraser, which is the Sakura Sumo Grip, <laughs> um, then they erase really well. All in all, you know, these are really great budget pencil, um, especially if you want to just use them for sketching or doodling around in, like a coloring book or something. You can get 12 of them for around 7 to $10 and they erase, which is great. Um, and you get some really nice colors. Um, I honestly, I think the range of colors in this is better than the color Eno because, um, and you'll see in a minute, but this one has more of a variety than the color Eno. So I honestly think that's really nice. What we're going to do is I'm going to try erasing each of these three with the eraser that the pencil comes with. So, oh my goodness. So this eraser, and then I'm going to go in with one of my best erasers that I think I own, and we're going to see if that takes anything off. So let's go. All right, so here is the Cola Erase erased with one of their own uh, erasers, and as you can tell, it's not really that great, especially if you're coloring really dark. And actually, even in the places I colored really lightly, you can still see it. So now I'm going to go in with my um, my favorite eraser, my Sumo Grip by Sakura, and I'm going to erase it and see if that helps. I swear there is nothing this thing cannot erase, so... Um, the erasers on the Cola Race aren't really that great, but this Sumo Grip really just kind of picked that pencil right up and took off with it, which is great. All right, so now that we've talked about some stuff with the Cola Race pencils, I'm going to push these aside and we're going to talk about the Color Eno. 
Now, here are the Color Eno pencils. Now, when you buy Color Eno pencils, they do come in a set of eight. I have seven here. I am missing my dark blue. That is because a while back I had a Patreon pledging on a tier where they got a favorite art supply every month of mine, and I gave them one of these pencils, being the dark blue one. So, I only have seven of them, but that's okay. I, I really like all of these colors. So, yeah. Let's talk a little bit about these guys. So, first of all, they are a mechanical pencil, unlike the color erase pencils. So, you push down and the lead comes out, just like your average mechanical pencil. Um, and, you know, they're really nice. You don't have to sharpen them, so that is something that, you know, some people don't like sharpening them. Some people prefer mechanical pencils. I am one of those people. Just like with the color erase pencil, these are really great for sketching. They're really great for coloring in, like, a coloring book or something. And they're also really great for layering. Again, these are wax-based, so if you burnish, which means you press really hard, um, again, <laughs> you're going to have a hard time layering, so if you want to burnish, do that on your very, very last layer. Now, the nice thing about these being mechanical pencils is the fact that they come with refill leads, and um, when you get these pencils, they come with their own lead, and they break really, really easily, and I think that's one of the biggest downsides to these pencils is that the lead is super fragile. However, there is lead you can buy called Neox, and it means the lead is a little stronger. It is a little more expensive. To get a full set of the Neox is about $13, and to get a full set of the pencils themselves is about $9. So you're looking at around $22 for a full set of this, and each refill lead only comes with 10 pieces of lead. So this is a little bit of a more pricey situation we've got going on here. So um, these definitely aren't something you want to get if you're on a budget, unless you just really, really want them, which again, these are my favorites. I actually got rid of my other Colorase pencils because I use these now, which was really stupid. I shouldn't have gotten rid of them, but whatever. So again, when you buy the Neox, you buy them in a set of eight. Again, I don't have one of the colors, but that's okay. Just like with the color erase, this eraser sucks. It comes with like a little nice cap though, but the pencils, again, erase really well, but just not with these erasers. I don't understand why these companies are all making, um, you know, these erasable pencils and then have an eraser that sucks. But, you know, you can't win everything. Another really big downside, at least for some people, not really for me, but for some people, is there are only eight colors in their whole line. So, um... Yeah, this is all you get, pretty much. You get a red, orange, yellow, a green, blue, dark blue, violet, and a pink. Um, and then, you know, comparatively to the color race pencils, they actually have really large variety of uh, color pencils. You know, they got blacks, browns, a bunch of colors that the color Eno doesn't have. So if you're looking for variety, uh, this is really not where it's at. <laughs> However, I find that these have the better color payoff between the two. So with the color race pencils, you have to press kind of hard to get a really good color payoff. Whereas you don't really have to press as hard with these, which is nice because again, the lead breaks really easily. So if you press really hard, you're just going to be like snapping every 10 seconds. And that gets really frustrating. Trust me, I know, because I'm extremely heavy handed. But I really like the color payoff of these. Again, you don't have to scrub the paper to get the uh, color payoff, which I find nice. The other thing is with these as well is you do have to buy them, as far as I know, in sets. You may be able to get them individually off of something like jet pins, but if you buy them like on Amazon, it's cheaper to buy them in a set. And honestly, as far as I know, you can't really pick them up in any stores. Like you normally have to buy them online to get these because I believe they're a Japan import. Um, but these are my favorite. Like, if I had to pick between one or the other, I would pick the color Eno, but that's just because it works better for me. I can take them easier on the go. I don't have to bring a sharpener. Um, and I like mechanical pencils a little better. However, that's not to say that the Cola Race is bad, because honestly, I think they're really great. They're what I started out with, and, you know, they have a really great range of colors, and they were a really good start to sketching in color, and I... I really like them, and I still will use them. I, I, For some reason, like I've already mentioned, I already threw out my other set, and I don't quite know why I did that. But I plan on keeping this, and I plan on using these, so... You know, there's always that. Alright, so we're going to do the same thing with the color Eno. We're going to take the cap off of this little end, and I'm going to erase...
I think the color Eno eraser is a little better than the Cola erase, but it still leaves residue behind, and I still really don't think the eraser is that great. However, I do think it is a lot better than Cola erase. Now, on to the Sakura. And again, it really just kind of <laughs> takes the cake. Um, it does a really good job. So both of these pencils erase really well, but not with their respective erasers. So uh, if you are looking into getting either of these, pick up one of these. This is like the best eraser ever, and I'm totally not biased. I love this thing. Uh, but yeah, anyway, I just want to come back and thank you all so incredibly much for watching the video. I hope you found it somewhat informative. If you're interested in anything, you know, like the color Eno pencils or the refill LEDs or these, I will have links to all this stuff down in the description below if you want to check that out. Um, and yeah, I don't know. I really like these pencils both, and I think they're great. And if you use either of these, leave a comment down below and let me know which one you use, which one you prefer, if you've used both maybe. Um, yeah, I'd like to hear from you. So anyway... Thank you again for watching. I love you all so incredibly much. If you haven't followed me on my social media, I have links in the description below. I also have a Patreon and an art store if you want to consider supporting the channel, uh, buying art from me, or maybe pledging to me on Patreon to get some awesome rewards every single month. Uh, I will have both cards up here in the I button, and I will have links in the description as well. So, yeah, until next time, my absolutely adorable squidlings, <laughs> toodaloo!